Hello and welcome to this easy and simple tutorial on how to upload images to Superbase and reload them from Superbase into your Flutterflow app. Alright, so in this video, what we want to do is to allow the user to upload and edit their own profile picture. We store it in Superbase and then whenever the user reloads their profile, they'll be able to see their new and updated profile picture. So I have mainly two pages. First is the profile page where it displays all of their information and also an update their profile page page. So here in this update profile page, they are able to change their profile picture and they can save the changes, which will save the changes to a super base project over here. All right, so here I have a very simple and bare bones super base table or user info which consists of columns of their name, their profile picture, which will be the link to the profile picture, and their user ID for filtering purposes. Alright, so let's get started. For the whenever they want to upload an image, we will try to click on this button and we'll open the upload image button action flow editor. Then we'll add an action and to allow the user to upload an image, we'll just search for upload. And under upload data, there's this one, there's this action to upload and save media, which is what we want. For the upload type, we'll just say change it to Superbase since we are using a Superbase backend. And now there's this uh, values that we have to set, which is the bucket name as well as the upload folder path. So we have to go to our Superbase project and in this left hand side column, we have to click on storage. So this storage is where we are able to save files and media such as videos or even pictures for our, in our Superbase project to be able to use in our Flutterflow app. So we need to create a new bucket, you can name it anything you want, you can name it user profiles and we have to set it to a public bucket. So we save it. Now, inside the user profiles bucket that we just created, we'll create a folder called pics and then we save it. And also for this, we have to create some policies to allow our users to be able to insert uh, insert pic new pictures and read the pictures. So under the user profiles bucket that we just created, we'll just click on new policy and we'll click on full customization. We'll give it a policy name since we are not dealing with role level security, we'll just say full access to all users because that is what we want to do. Then we'll just click on everything, select insert, update and delete. And for this, we'll just save it as that. We'll just leave it as that and then we'll review. Then we'll save the policy. All right, so now that the policies are created, we can go back to our Flutterflow app and under bucket name, we can just type in the exact bucket name that we just created. So in this case, user profiles exactly like that. It has to be, note, it has to be the exact name of the bucket. And for the folder path, we type in pics, which is the folder that we created. So just type in exactly the same, pics. For the media source, you can choose whether you want to allow the user to get the picture from either the camera or the gallery or you can even choose just the camera or just the gallery we'll just leave it as either camera or gallery for now you can also set some of these you can allow for video you can resize the image and you can even uh, specify the image quality that you want and there are also many other options but we'll just leave it as now for now we'll just pick the simplest one so that's basically how you upload the media. And then now, if we want the up, newly uploaded image to reflect in this image over here, what we do is you just click on the image, scroll down to the image path. Right now, I've set it to a global property, which I have defined a global constant, which I've defined earlier, which is just this uh, now image, now user image. So we just remove this and if you want it to display the uploaded image, all you have to do is go to widget state 
and you see there's this uploaded file URL, so just click on that. Alright, so that's basically, it will now display it over here. And one last thing that we want to do is we want to save this uploaded file, uploaded image file URL into our super base table in our user info. We want to save it over here in the profile pic so that we can retrieve it whenever we want. So to do that, we go under save changes and we add an action, which is to update our super base row. And the table is user info and we want the matching rows. We want to filter by our user ID is when our the user ID is equal to our authenticated user's ID. And then we want to set some fields. We want to set the new image. We want to set the new profile pic to our newly uploaded image path, which is under widget state and uploaded file URL. All right, so that's basically it. And now, when we upload an image, it should reflect the new uploaded image should reflect here. And when we press save changes, it should uh, update the role in our user info table over here. Okay, let's try it and test it out right now. All right, so Tesmo has just loaded up. And let's test the edit profile functionality now. All right, so as you can see, since there's, we didn't specify any image, this uh, image over here is an error image. So when we try to upload an image, you can see we can try to choose from the gallery. And then it'll open the gallery. And let's just choose this image right here. And voila, you can see that our profile picture has successfully been updated over here. So we can click save changes. And now we can go back to our super base. <coughs> and we can see that the profile pic has the link to the profile pic has been saved over here. We can click check our storage as well. And we can see if the file has been saved here. You can click on pics and you can see that it indeed has been saved here. So that's all successful. Then you can click back. Ah, but there's a problem. You see, this has not been updated. Why is that that is is because if you go to this one, you can see that it's still the global constant of the empty image path. So we have to change this as well. We have to change this to our user info row and we have to change it to our profile pic. So you can click confirm. And now if we hot reload our test mode, it should update properly. And you can see when we hot reloaded our test mode, the image, our profile picture now has been changed to the one that we changed it to just now. Now, let's try one more thing. What if we try to edit our profile again? You can see that this one still gives us the error image. And that is because when we update our profile and we see this image, Sorry. When we see this image, when we click on this image, then we go to this path. What we are assigning to this image is the uploaded file URL. But when we first go into our update profile page, there is no uploaded file and it gives this uh, null image error. So what we can do is we can create a page state variable. So for example, if is uploaded, if image, if new image is uploaded, is false that means if there's no new image uploaded then we can set it as this default global constant uh, image path if not if there is a new image uploaded then we can just set it as the uploaded file url the new image so to do that is very simple we just go to the page and under local page state variables we can add a field so we can say is new image uploaded we can set the type as a boolean and we, the initial value can be false. <laughs> so now we can go to the image and instead of just the uploaded file URL, 
we'll remove this for now and then we want to make a conditional value so we can set if and then page state is new image uploaded so if the new image is uploaded then we can set it as the uploaded file URL else if there's no new image uploaded we can just set it as a default variable which I have already defined as a constant as empty image path so we can just confirm that and also when we upload the image we have to change the page state variable we have to go to this upload image button and we have to add one more action after uploading the medium which is to set the state variable update page state variable set the new is new image uploaded to true so set the value to true and we also rebuild the current page all right so that's basically it everything should be working good now we can do one last hot reload and we can test out our newly uh, newly fixed update profile picture functionality in Flutterflow and Superbase alright so it just reloaded we can try edit profile and you can see that it is no longer an error image and is instead this default one actually we can actually change the initial image not to this default one but actually to our previous one our current one the one that the one be we have before we upload another image so to do that is very simple click on the image instead of this empty image path we can remove this and then we can pass a page parameter of from the previous profile page of the current image and the current image will be whatever is inside this one so it'll be this our user info row profile pic so to do that is to pass the page parameter we have to go to edit profile and when we navigate to we'll pass a parameter which is the current image and the current image parameter will be from the user info row and it will be the profile pic over here which is our current profile pic so now we can try instant reloading one more time and you'll see if our profile picture updating functionality works all right so the current image is this axolotl image try edit profile and you can see that is the same axolotl image you can try to upload a new image choose it from the gallery and let's just try this add picture icon wait for it to load and you can see that the image has been uploaded we can save changes then we can go back and you can see it's updated here also and if you reload and under the storage of superbase if you reload, you can see that the picture that we just uploaded was saved here as well. Alright, so that's basically it on how to change and how to upload pictures into Superbase, store it in the storage, store it in, store the URL, the uploaded image URL into your table so that you can retrieve it again and display it in your Flutterflow app UI. I hope this video has been informative and helpful to everyone and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.